an ambulance siren is always the first indication of a disaster, especially a road accident or a fire outbreak. When it comes to fire outbreaks, frontline disaster response teams consisting of professionals are key in firefighting and rescue mission. As you know, fire and rescue service, it's all about uh, emergency response. It is about saving lives. It's about preventing property destruction. It is about uh, preventing fire injuries from fire and also to minimize uh, human uh, suffering. So we have to be well trained and we have to have the equipment. We joined this team of young energetic response team during one of their trainings to get a feel of what awaits them when a real disaster strikes. One of the key requirements we are told is being physically fit. Their training ground is at this fire and rescue training center in Kiambu County, courtesy of Polish Center for International Aid, a non-governmental organization from Poland, providing external humanitarian and development assistance in Kenya since 2014. Most of the fire brigades are not adequately funded, so through their support we, are, we have been able to get uh, personal protective equipment, Rope rescue is among the training that response teams are taken through. This helps in rescuing accident victims from places which are difficult to reach. Here, one uses a rope to save lives, for instance, if they are stuck in deep waters when an accident occurs. This is also useful in rescuing someone from high-rise places like tall buildings when there is a fire breakout or a building collapses. Extrication is another skill that the team is equipped with. This is a calculated method of rescuing a person stuck in a tight spot, such as a car wreckage during a road accident. The marshals in this case have to be extra careful and skillful when conducting this kind of rescue operation to avoid inducing more pain to the survivor and cause more harm or even death. A number of skilled personnel in this case are required to offer support. It is a center that's supposed to be a model not just in Kenya, but beyond Kenya. And uh, in this center we run various training like what you're seeing, the short trainings and all that. The fire brigade in Kenya many times is just the first um, public service to reach the rope the fire incidents as well the road traffic accidents. So it is crucial to understand that the fire service in Kenya is a crucial public service. So we all need to make sure that this, uh, this service is well organized, it's just very professional and very efficient. Florence Motete is among the women frontliners we found in this training. She says her passion for humanity is the driving force and despite being in the field for six years now, she still goes for training sessions to advance her skills. As females in the, in the department, we have the same responsibilities as our male counterparts. We attend daily drills, we operate heavy equipment, and we respond to a hundred of calls. Tactical firefighting is another major lesson in firefighting and rescue mission. This mainly equips the personnel with skills in rescuing victims from areas difficult to access due to obstacles. The fire marshals, including chief officers, are always in uniform for identification during operations, especially in public places. This being part of their training. Through partnerships with 34 counties in Kenya, among other private organizations, the Polish Center for International Aid has so far trained about 60% of Kenyan personnel in this field. And our main goal, of course, is to go beyond that, is to go further, and just to have as many professional and as many professionals and as many newcomers certified and becoming professional firefighters. The NGO, which is the largest implementation partner of Polish Aid Development Program, has also collaborated with the Chief Fire Officers Association in Kenya in strengthening the capacity of firefighting and rescue services in the country. We currently have trainees who are gone basic units and uh, 37 of them will be proceeding to core and common. 
and we hope to certify them next year. And I think they'll be the first Kenyan group under that new curriculum. And as cases of fire breakouts, road accidents and calamities such as floods continue being witnessed in Kenya. The government and relevant stakeholders are being called upon to put more collaborative efforts in boosting capacity among frontliners in the firefighting and rescue sector. Nixon Kisaka, K24 TV.